every basically every single person I try to hit up today just kind of a no go. Um, so I decided that I'm just gonna do a John Hill video. Um, John Hill, when I first started watching his YouTube, because uh, like I, I was like friends with him, but then like I when he started like wa make, doing YouTube videos, I wasn't really watching him until like a little bit later on, and he was doing all these day in the life videos. And so I tried just now to scroll back through his YouTube to like watch some of them. Uh, and I was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I, I realized how like confused I was on like John's Tom timeline of like our friendship and what he was doing on YouTube and blah, blah, blah. That like, I, I literally scrolled down like, I don't know how many pages. And uh, yeah, I, it, he has like a million videos. So I never got to the videos that I was trying to watch. So this is gonna be a very vague um, probably off center, uh, version of a John Hill video that I'm totally going to blow. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a John Hill style video. So there's some main things that I know he would do the beginning of the video. He would kind of give you his itinerary for the day, uh, which I'm currently doing. And then he would go about the beginning of that thing. Sometimes he would go to Starbucks though, and he would get like, uh, he would get hot chocolate. I remember that cause he didn't do caffeine back then. I don't know if he does now. Uh, so I'm going to go to Starbucks. I am going to do a John Hill-esque video as best I can. So obviously, I just have to remake his videos because his success has everything to do with his format and nothing to do with his personality or the way he presents himself on the camera or his humor or the things he has to say. It has to be the algorithm of how he goes about his day-to-day -day and films it. So I'm just going to emulate that and uh, I'll see you at... 2 million subscribers or whatever he has. I don't have any subscribers he has. I think he's just shy of a million. I, I should probably go look. I'm 95% sure though that I just remember that it is definitely like just shy of a million. So see it just shy of a million. Oh, I, sh I should definitely go do some selfie shit at Silverado Skate Park because I think he used to skate that park a bunch. Um, which it's not really my favorite skate park, but it has a round flat bar, so... I just GPS the nearest Starbucks and it, I didn't realize this. I'm actually already right next to Silverado Skate Park. I stayed the night three minutes from there last night because uh, I was feeling kind of panicky. And whenever I feel like I have a panic attack coming on, uh, I'll stay the night near a hospital. Not because I plan to go inside the hospital, but just because it like helps calm my panicness if I'm like right next to a hospital. Uh, so that ended up working out perfectly. I didn't realize that until I just got to the Starbucks and I saw like on the map right next to the Starbucks that I'm at, uh, Silverado. I wonder if this is the Starbucks that John Hill would actually go to because he would maybe I'm also like kind of screwing that up. Maybe he didn't go to Starbucks as much as I think he did. But for whatever reason, when I think of his videos, I think of Starbucks quote at the end of the day goes in Target or or, or Best Buy and talks to himself in, on the camera and people seem awkward behind him. Uh, I think when he did that, though, he did it early enough in the in the world where not a lot of people were, like, doing that. And now I feel like if I go to a Best Buy and talk to myself on my phone, no one's going to look at me. They're just going to be like, oh, like, just another customer because I, I'm about to talk to myself on my phone. Like, I feel like everyone just does that shit now. All right. Already another change of plans. I just realized that I left my skateboard at Dale's house. So I got to go to Dale's house. But I'm not doing a video with John Hill in the timeline where Dale exists yet. So I have to be very discreet around Dale. I don't want any Dale in this video. Even though Dale is normally in my videos, this isn't in a Dale John Hill video. This is late earlier, actually. This is earlier in the timeline. Maybe at some point in time, I'll do a 2018 John Hill video. But as of right now, pre-Dale. So I might be a little sneaky. I haven't met you yet. I love that you don't know what's going on. <laughs> Secured the board. Moving on. Uh, I actually do have to get a Best Buy because I need to buy a tripod if I'm going to do this correctly. Uh, I was going to borrow Dale's tripod, but I looked at it on his counter and it's... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to work very good. And I think as a cell phone tripods can't be that expensive. I'm imagining around 40 or $50. Plus it gives me a chance to uh, be extra John Hill at the Best Buy. I will definitely say that I've never cared about stores like this. I was more of a uh, Home Depot kind of guy. But uh, now when I come in here, I'm like, ooh. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, GoPro. All these tripods look like, ooh, this one might be. I'm not positive exactly what I'm looking for. I just know that I'm looking for a cell phone tripod. But I want like a decent one. There we go. 
That one's kind of tiny though. Includes phone mount. 60 bucks, a little bit on the nicer side, which, you know what I mean? Now that I'm a big YouTuber, 900,000 some odd subscribers that I'll be having by the end of this video, I can just splurge and just buy the nicer tripods. Even though I don't really like use my camera that much anymore, I still have to like look at all the camera stuff. I do use my camera, but I use it for filming my friends when they're actually trying to do something for a video part. That's when I become a filmer for the day. Uh, but most of my videos are shot on iPhone. Also like laptop stuff. I, I have like an external steady state terabyte -y thing that uh, I keep forgetting to use. So that was a fun purchase. Cause it's like, I, I, I have so much footage from my like cell phone. After every video, I put all the footage on my computer then I run out of storage and then like, I don't have my steady state tripod next to me. So I just delete everything. So all the footage that's like in, in probably 75% of the videos that I've made, is just gone forever. I just deleted it just to make room. I'm not very nostalgic for that kind of stuff though. So that's, that's fine by me. If I want to see that footage again, I'll literally just click my own YouTube link, give myself a view. You know what I mean? Perpetual money, pay myself. Nostalgia and a paycheck, sign me up. I will say one advantage that I have over John is uh, he used to do these like challenges, like uncomfortable challenges where he'd talk in public. And uh, since I have no shame, I think my teeth really taught me that. Uh, I'm super comfortable just like talking to my phone in front of people. I could honestly not really be bothered less. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna buy this. And uh, then we'll maybe go to the skate park, I don't know. In all seriousness though, I've never really been much for embarrassment. I can't really think of any situations where I felt like super embarrassed for myself with the exception of uh, one time when i was like i don't know how old i was my dad refers to it as the day that i broke out of my shell though because i used to be a pretty shy kid um mostly because whenever i'd be like at a uh, register my dad would always be like oh don't mind him he's shy and then always i was just like well, i didn't even do anything i'm like literally just standing here um so anyways we uh we were at uh my cousin's wedding and uh, I was just really into the idea of break dancing. I used to play this game called Bust a Groove and they would do like capoeira in it. There was these two aliens that would do capoeira dancing and I thought it was so sick. And this other character Gasso would break dance. So I was just convinced that I could break dance even though I had never tried it. And it was at the wedding, it was the dance of the wedding and Mambo number no. five came on and it was just like, dude, my body's gotta move. So I'm just like trying to spin around on my head in front of like everyone and everyone's like laughing at me. I'm like, yeah, damn, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I didn't give a fuck. I was like so in the zone. I ended up kicking some kid in the face. I kicked this like nine year old kid in the face and I was just like, uh, so yeah, pretty much since then I haven't really had any sense of embarrassment, but I do get secondhand embarrassment really bad. Like there's scenes in movies that I can't watch because I'm just like, I'm like, oh God, like it's just, it's just so awkward. Or seeing like some cringy compilations. Like there's a lot of uh, Instagram accounts where it's just like really cringy situations. I really struggle to watch those. But as far as me, like I, I do so much like stupid cringy shit all the time or like say dumb stuff or like, I don't know. I, like I have a really, like I always mispronounce people's names. Uh, and like, I don't feel that sort of like electrical tight feeling of embarrassment that you can get like in your chest. Like I, I don't really feel anything. Like I usually think it's pretty funny. I honestly, the last time I can recall being embarrassed is that time that I was break dancing when I was a child. So basically I'm a superhero and I was groomed to uh, be a YouTuber because like I like bleed cringe, man. I'm so down. Oh, so we're gonna go to uh, Silverado, even though like I'm on the other side of town now because I had to drive to get my board because I'm a moron. So uh, yeah, we're at Silverado Skate Park. There's actually no one here. Like, usually there's like at least a couple people here. Oh, they fixed the hip. Usually this thing has a gigantic hole in it. So maybe I'll skate the hip. Probably not. Oh no, there's a new hole. So still got a hole, just in a different location. Uh, wouldn't be a John Hill video without an unboxing. I don't know if that's actually true. I don't know if John actually did unboxing videos. I mean, I'm assuming he did. And you should assume that he did too if you've never seen a John Hill video. So here we go, unboxing video. What's in here? Oh, it's, oh wow. I'm gonna use two hands so you can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, it's unboxed, I swear. Dude, people who do unboxing videos, low-key talent. You have to do it with one hand. That's kind of gnarly. There's one thing that I'd say John is almost notorious for is it's his ability to just not fall on flat ground tricks. And I'm pretty sure he would warm up with a straight eight. I warm up with 50-50s and board slides and stuff. I feel like it's just an easy way to get my like blood flowing through my legs. And my ankles definitely don't flick this early. But to start, try to stay true, I'm gonna try to warm up with the straight eight. This might be the rest of the video, just me trying to do the straight eight. It's probably not gonna happen, but 
or give it a go. Get it nice and center. Alright. Here we go. Should be bad. Oh my god. Yeah, let's uh let's tilt this a little bit. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm making it way further than I expected to. <laughs> I mean, low key, I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't fall. I'll try it again though. I'm trying to clean them up because I think. Out of the eight tricks, nine of them were gross. So, let's give another go. Oh, Yeah, this round doesn't seem to be any better. Really? On oh, sticky heel? It's the only one I can do. Frick! I mean... Whatever, I'm surprised I did it first try. Uh, whatever, I'm surprised I did it anyways. Fakey heel is the only one that I'm consistent at with heel floats. So, hope you enjoyed. A lot of really mop float tricks. I'm just gonna bring this over here, put it at the flat bar, and have a more realistic run up. Or a warm up, I should say. Where's a good angle? We'll say, I don't know, that looks fine. That war movie where it was like one take. I wonder how hard it would be to film like a full video in one take.
like that. Um, what's another? I want to get better front crooks, but I know I'm gonna fall on it. Like something about round bar front crooks is just like I'm the act opposite of Zach Dolan. Zach Dolan can front crook rails all day, and he struggles with ledges. I struggle with round bars, but actually, take that back. I can't front crook ledges all day, but I'm way better at them than the rails. <laughs> Too good for your humble narrator. Whoa, that is crazy. I feel like I don't know. Like I'm, I feel like I'm not skating close enough to the rail. But when I get there, I'm like, oh, this is too close. Um, oh, front nose grinds on rails. I suck at this. Feel like I put too much weight on it and it tosses me out. I can never sit on that trick right. We'll take that. I mean, it was trash, but what'd you expect? It's my YouTube channel. Um, what else should I skate? Let's do the hip, I guess. Um, maybe try to find a good angle for the hip. Maybe, maybe here. That'll work. Oh wait, I'm gonna be out of frame. So I'm gonna try to do a trickle on the hip and then stay in frame, uh, which means when I go this way, oh, I gotta start from like right here. Let me move this further back. I don't know why I'm deciding that this is just like a one take video, but evidently it is. how much easier big flips are because you can scoop into the ground harder and backside flip. You actually have to have a decent, like, flick. Obviously that was perfect. Me sucking at backside flips, take one. So atrocious, and I get it. I know I gotta flick down, but when I go to flick down, guess what? I don't flick down. Oh my gosh! Doing those two in a row is the equivalent of doing like a quarter of a decent one. second be like psych I'm 180ing no uh-uh we're not riding away from that uh-uh wipe that off my feet almost like putting salt in the wound that I'm riding away from them like that. Like, let me pop a decent one.
wasn't even halfway decent, so. What am I doing wrong? Sports mob it means I'm not catching it on my front foot enough. So I need to, oh, I should probably just wait to flick. landing. Alright, one more, one more, one more. That one felt good. I definitely like landed with like a little bit of like fake relaxness because I was just kind of like, yeah, fucking zero percent, but I'll give that back to that flip uh, five out of ten, which is like twelve out of ten for me. So I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, what other trick should I work on? Should I? I'll do some stupid shit on the quarter pipe. Why not? Wait, should I keep it rolling? Probably not. I feel like uh, the entertainment value of this is uh, dwindling quite fast. Dwindling almost as fast as uh, the expectations for products out of dwindle distribution. Which well, used to be like the coolest company ever and now it's like, I don't know, no one really cares about it. Let's see. I mean, it enjoys tight, but. I don't know what else to do. Um, maybe I can get lucky with a front side flip. Definitely not. Man, I have this front set up at such a shitty angle. Uh, yeah, let me move my phone so I can have an easier time staying in frame. Oh, that was so bad. But if I do a switch, it's a little less bad. Plus, obviously, it's a line. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want a 5 of the second stair and shove it to 5 on the bottom stair. I've tried it on a couple street spots and I can never make it work. This probably ain't gonna happen, but we love to try. Perfect. I came out to California years ago to film, uh, I don't know what the part was gonna be for. Might have been Rag Channel, I don't know. But I tried to warm up doing a 5 on this bottom stair and I fucking uh, broke my rib. <laughs> like, I slipped out and fell and elbowed myself in the rib. And uh, just, yeah, I couldn't skate for the rest of the trip. It was fucking awesome. Actually, so the last day of the trip, or it was like the last two days of the trip, I really wanted to know Comply Ring Con. And so we went there, and the very first time that I jumped on it, I stuck, fell forward, and landed on my rib again. And then I was out for another, like, month or two. So yeah, skaters are stupid. almost a trick. That's not how 
electric works. I give up. This is ending up being a very realistic uh, day in the life. Like, I'll warm up. I'll try tricks that uh, I don't normally do. Not land some of them. In this case, not land all of them. Try to fix tricks that I suck at, like backside flips, which sort of worked out. I think I figured out a little bit more about them. And then, uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of skating by myself. Uh, for, since I started YouTube, though, I've been skating with people like every single day, so this is kind of refreshing. Um, it's like way easier to make a video if like I'm gonna meet up with someone like Zach Doling or uh, Chris Chan or something like that, because it's like, obviously they're gonna skate too, so it's easier to hand off the camera, be a little bit more motivated to try harder stuff, whereas when I'm by myself, I'm very much just like, what trick do I wanna learn over what trick do I think people will wanna see? Because uh, they definitely do not coincide. I, I really like learning tricks that I kind of skipped over in my youth. Uh, but yeah, uh, all right, here's a pretty uh, realistic session for me since there's no one really here skating it. It's good to do nose slide tricks on the flat bar. I just want to do like nose slide the whole thing and then come back and try to front nose the whole thing. Um, it's not like, it's almost funny because stuff like that almost feels like skateboard drills, but it's not to get better at it. It's just because I really like the way that nose slides on round bars feel. <laughs> like, I don't expect to ever get any better at no slides on round bars because you just kind of sit on them. There's not really a lot to them. And uh, since I'm never going to be able to flip out of a nose slide because that trick's physically impossible and I hate everyone who can do it, I'm just going to stick to just doing a bunch of nose slides. There we go. The reason that I stand a lot of my nose slides up like once is because the middle support bar, so I'm always afraid I'm going to hit it. So if I'm like laying flat, or even if, I, if I'm a little saggy, I should say, you're gonna hit it with your wheels, but if you stick it up, like stand it up more like a blunt, you can't hit it, so that's why I go that way. it up a little bit and try big spins out? Probably not. I'll give it a couple tries. That would've been so cool if I did that first try. Let me just say, I'm currently skating Jessup grip and I feel my feet sliding all over my board and I hate it. I feel like battling that fucking trick anymore. That line. Yeah, front nose sitting on a front nose big spin on a rail. I feel like I've done it, but I can't remember when I did it on a round bar like that. But definitely a different pop out. Because when you lean over on front noses on round bars, you don't really get to see the end of the rail because you're so you're like standing it up so much. This guy's driving around the RC car, it's really annoying. Uh but yeah, I kinda did it. Whatever. I try to get better at half cap feebles because I suck at them on rails. Whenever I do half cap feebles, I always gotta like Go back to fakie, like basically a front hurricane, but rolling at it fakie. So we're gonna try to fix that. Costin had a photo sequence of that exact trick like 20 years ago? Hopefully not. Oh, 
because she definitely did that already. But new one for me. All right, now I want to work on back lips. I've always sucked at back lips on rails, so I want to learn how to like sit on them. Because I feel like you just lock in right, you can turn it into a front board. Front boards I do, so I'll play with those for a little bit. I would love the pop over or pop out early. I'm gonna play with both of them. Yeah, so, so the skip park ended up getting more and more crowded. Uh, so I ended up just not getting the back lip pop out. Also, I was tired, and who knows? If I would have kept trying, maybe I would never land it anyways. I'll play with it more tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try a different type of video tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I guess I got to end this video with a quote of the day. And the quote is, uh, back lip to pop out to forwards are a trick I can't do by Dan Corgan.